Today, everyone, we're going to do a 30-minute workout, and I've called it Intense but Gentle. And what that means is it's going to be very low impact. It's going to be something you can all do, but you might feel it a little more because I'm going to do it with real intent this morning. So I hope you enjoy it. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So I'm going to come down onto the mat. So I'd like you to join me. We're going to start with our neutral position and we'll start as always with the pelvic curl. So you're lying down, you'll have your knees bent, feet hip width apart. And let's just take a moment to find that neutral position. So we want those hip bones, pubic bone, all on the same level. And then your arms gently down by your side. Just place them down, but have them quite close to the body. And let's draw the back of the shoulders onto the mat. And then I want you to nod your chin slightly so you can feel the back of your neck lengthening. Okay, so we've got a great start position. Let's go. So let's take a deep breath in. You're going to breathe out. Draw your tummy muscles in, tilting your pelvis. Pressing down into the feet, let's peel the hips up off the floor. Then you're going to inhale to hold. You're going to exhale, relaxing through the chest, coming down through the spine and back down onto your mat. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. Breathing out to tilt. Press into the feet and peel up. So try and imagine those vertebrae peeling up one at a time. Inhale there. Exhale, nice relaxation through the chest, through the rib cage as you start to come down. All right, so we're gonna focus on this movement on the bottom half of the body. So as you tilt, I want you to see if you can really feel that activation in the back of the legs and the glutes. Trying to push up a little harder if you can, a little higher. Inhale and exhale as you come back down. We're gonna do two more, but we're gonna add something. So we're gonna exhale to tilt. We're gonna roll that spine up, lifting all the way up. You're gonna inhale there. And as you exhale, I want you to try and tilt the pelvis up a little more. That's gonna switch the bottom muscles on even more. You'll feel it there. Inhale, exhale, come down. And we'll do that one more time. Deep breath in, breathing out to tilt and roll that spine up. Holding it here at the top, inhale. Exhale, draw the tummy in and tilt. Inhale. And exhale, coming all the way down through the spine and onto your mat. Well done. We're going to take the arms out to the side, palms facing up, and let's bring our legs up one at a time into our tabletop position, really squeezing your knees together so you can really feel those inner thighs working. Okay, now we're going to inhale as we take our knees over to the right hand side. We're going to exhale, draw the abdominals in to come back to the center. And then the other way, we're going to inhale as we go over. Exhale as you come back to center. So we're inhaling over, and I want you to keep your shoulder blades on the mat, which makes it a little bit more intense on the abdominals. Inhale over and exhale up. Again, inhale over, exhale up, inhale over, exhale up one more time each side, over and up. And over and up. Now we're going to keep those legs in a nice tabletop position. All right, and I want you to bring your arms overhead and have your hands just floating above the ground. All right, so we're going to do a new movement. This is something I normally do on a reformer. Uh, we're putting the straps, but this is how we're going to do it on the mat. So you're going to bring your arms all the way over 
and have them just hovering above the ground here, but feel the nice tension in the arms for using those arm muscles. And then you're gonna follow through by nodding the chin, lifting the head, and reaching as far as you can towards your thighs. So you can really feel it in here, okay? From there, you're going to bring the arms up and reach them as far back as you can without lowering your chest. And then you're gonna lower your chest back down. So we're gonna to inhale to bring the arms over. Exhale, lifting up. And think of those arms now sliding forward like they were sliding across a tabletop. Holding it there, you're gonna bring your arms all the way back and then lowering back down. Let's try that again. So inhale, arms. Exhale, nod the chin, lift the head and chest. Inhale, arms go back, reaching them back. Exhale, to lower down. Again, inhale, arms. Exhale, chest. Inhale, arms. And back down. And last one, arms. Head and chest. Arms. And back down. And take your arms around to the side. Extend those legs up. Let's lower the left leg down. And we're going to either flex the foot if you're okay with that flexibility. If that's a bit too much, then I want you to bend the knee and just soften it down until it works for you, okay? All right, so we're going to do our circles. So from here, we're going to inhale, we're going to take the leg across the body. Exhale, we're going to go down, we're going to keep really still in those hips. Leg goes out to the side and up. So you want you to focus on staying really stable in the core. All right, so you can really feel those tummy muscles working to keep you still. Inhale across, exhale, down, around, and up. Inhale across, exhale, down, around, and up. Inhale across, exhale, down, around and up. And one more, across, down, around and up. Now I'm gonna go the other way, just take a moment to think about that stability here. All right, keeping everything nice and stable, not allowing that pelvis to move, that's the important thing, okay? So I'm gonna tuck my microphone wire away. Okay, so here we go. Inhale, out, exhale, down, around and up. Inhale, out, exhale, around and up. Inhale, out, and exhale, around and up. Inhale, out, exhale, around and up. Two more. Out, down, around and up. And out, down, around and up. Now keep that foot flexed. And let's take it all the way down to the floor. And you're going to point the toes on that foot. And we're going to unravel the left leg, preparing for the circles on this side. Here we go. So you're going to inhale across, exhale, down, around, and up. Inhale across, exhale, around, and up. Inhale across, exhale, around, and up. Inhale across, exhale, around and up. Two more, across, down, around and up. And across, down, around and up. Let's go the other way. So inhale out, exhale down, around and up. Inhale out, exhale, around and up. Remember we're staying nice and still here, out, down, around and up. Out, down, around and up. One more. Out, down, around and up. Well done. You're going to bend the knees and bring the other leg up into tabletop and bring your hands back overhead. So you think of the first 
chest lift we did, we lifted our arms first. Now we lifted our chin, we lift the head up. And here we're going to go into a hundred breathing. So you're going to take a deep breath in and then you're going to exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four. Five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Last time, two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Now hold it there. Try and get a little higher. So reach your hands forward a little more. I know this is tough. Stay there. Lift your arms all the way up. Interlace your fingers and take your hands behind your head to support your neck. And then from there, we're going to extend the left leg, pull the right knee towards you, and we're going to open and rotate towards that knee. So you're going to take a breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to switch legs and rotate the other way. Deep breath in, exhale, switch legs. So we're going a little slower, using a little more intention. All right, so you can get a little deeper into the movement. We're going to do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And bring those knees into your chest. Relax your head. Let's just gently turn the head to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Little flick of the legs. And you're going to come on up to sit. Okay, so we're going to have those legs out in front of us. We're going to do what's the, called the spine stretch forward. So we're really going to try and feel that lovely stretch through the back. So I want your knees soft and your feet flexed, your toes pointing up to the ceiling. And let's draw those shoulders down. And we're going to try and imagine we've got a nice, upright wall behind us and we're just leaning on that wall so you want to feel as if you could connect the back of the pelvis the back of the ribs and the back of the head especially to that wall all right we're going to take the arms out in front fingers together and we're going to peel off that wall so you're going to take a breath in and as you breathe out i want you to take the chin to the chest and then think of keeping the bottom half of the body stable, but trying to flex forward. So you're trying to keep your pelvis in position, which is actually really hard, and flex that spine forward. And you should start to feel that stretch coming into your back, your lower back, and I'm sure your hamstrings as well. And you're going to take a breath in. And you're going to breathe out, draw the abdominals in, and try and come back up the wall. We'll do that just one more time. So take your breath in, breathing out, chin to the chest. Really pull the tummy in so you're not moving your pelvis, you're just flexing your spine forward. That's it. Good. Inhale. And exhale to come back up. Now you're going to open your arms out to the side. You're going to turn your palms up towards the ceiling. We're going to keep that lovely upright spine. You're going to take a breath in. And on the out breath, you're going to try and rotate your top half towards me. And we're going to go on one, two. And then you're going to come back to center. And then go the other way. One, two and back to center. So one, two, and center. One, two, and center. One, two, and center. One, two, and center. Two more. And center. 
and center. Well done. Let's take the hands behind us now and we're going to bring our legs together and we'll have the legs straight right out in front, fingers pointing out to the side. If you've got flexibility in your shoulders, then you're going to have the fingers pointing towards you. Okay, so eye line straight ahead, draw your chin back, take a breath in as you breathe out, press into the hands, press into the heels and start to lift up, pushing up through those legs, looking up towards the ceiling, inhale there, exhale, slowly coming back down. And again, deep breath in, exhale, Pushing into the feet, lifting up, inhale, exhale, coming back down, one more deep breath in and exhale, pushing into the heels, the hands, lifting up if you can, holding it for a moment, inhale and exhale. Coming back down. Well done. You're going to push yourself forward. If you need to, we're just going to roll those wrists out for five, four, three, two, one. And let's have the hands forward, fingers together for the roll up. So you can keep the legs here. If you're tight in those hamstrings, do bend your knees. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, let's draw the tummy in and tuck your tailbone under and just start to move back going as far as you're able. So if it gets too much, you just stop where you are. If you can go to the floor, you're going to go all the way down and then reach the arms overhead, keeping those ribs down. Remember to relax your shoulders. You're going to inhale, moving the arms, head and chest. Exhale, draw the abdominals in. And let's come up slowly so it really is a challenge. Keep pulling back all those tummy muscles as you come up into the C curve, okay? And then lift up through the spine into a nice extension. Remember, draw those shoulders down. Take a breath in. Exhale, scooping in, tucking it under, coming back. That's it. Laying that spine down if you can. Arms go overhead, but keep the ribs down. Then you're going to inhale, moving arms, head and chest. Exhale. Coming up. Lifting up, restacking the spine one more time. Exhale, tucking under. And coming back. And arms overhead. And then you're going to inhale, moving arms, head and chest. Exhale, draw the abdominals in, coming up and lifting up through the spine. Well done. All right, from there, we're going to separate our legs once again. We're going to do one more thing sitting up before we go on to our side. So let's have the feet flexed once again. Let's think about that nice upright spine and let's take the arms back out to the side, this time with your palms facing forward. Okay, and we're going to really anchor down here on the bottom half of the body. So I want you to rotate to your right and bring that left arm across. Looking down at your little toe, you're going to flex forward as if you're going to soar off that little toe. So you're reaching towards that little toe. The other arm is reaching in the opposite direction. I want you to think of that oppositional stretch. Really give yourself that stretch here and make sure your left sit bone is on the mat. Then you're going to come on up and bring that right arm to the shoulder and then open back out. Let's go the other way. So a rotation, the right arm comes across. We flex forward, keeping our sit bones equally placed on the mat, reaching forward. At the same time, reaching back with that left arm. Then you're going to lift back up. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. Bring the left arm in line with the shoulder and open out. So we'll do that one more time each side. We're going to rotate to the right. Bring the arm across, that left hand reaching towards the little toe. So this is for a lovely stretch. Reach this other arm back. 
come on up, right arm comes to shoulder and open and other way, rotate and flexing forward and lifting up, left arm comes back in line with the shoulder and open out. Well done. All right, so let's come on to our side. Okay, I'm just going to tuck my wires away there. So we're going to go into the clown shell, which I always think is a lovely, lovely movement, but we're going to do it on the elbow today. So you're just going to be elbow in line with the shoulder like so. Okay, hand on the hip, and we're going to think rather than sinking here, we want to lift up here. So we're activating the side of the core all the way through, and then we'll have a hand here. And I want you to think of length through this part of the body. And then you're going to exhale, you're just going to open into your clam, and inhale to lower down. So keeping these hips nice and still, but as you open, you can feel that opposition from the leg trying to pull back, but at the same time, you're not allowing the pelvis to go. All right, you'll really feel this in the glutes. This is really good for the glutes. And come down. So you're going to open. And lower down. We're going to open. And lower down. Good. Open. And lower down, open, and lower down, two more, open, and lower down, and open, and lower down. We're going to reach that leg out and have it in line with the hip, and we're going to bring this arm up and take it overhead like so, all right? So you've got a straight arm, straight leg, and then we're going to lift, touch the leg, and come back. As you go back, think of really going into a nice stretch there. So you're going to lift, you can feel the crease in the side here, but as you go back, you're reaching leg and arm in opposite directions. So we're gonna lift, and reach. We're gonna lift, and reach. We're gonna lift and reach. And one more lift and reach. Well done. And then from there, you're gonna place that foot down. We're gonna have this knee bent, take this arm out to the side. You're gonna inhale, lifting up, exhale, going over. Nice little stretch. Inhale up. And exhale, lower down. So you're going to inhale, lift. Exhale, over. Inhale, up. And lower down. And one more lift. Exhale, over. Inhale, up. And lower down. Well done. Okay, let's go do that on the other side. So planchers. Uh, we'll start with those on the elbow. Okay, so making sure the elbow is under your shoulder and that you are lengthening, excuse me, my wires are coming out, and you are lengthening through your hips. Okay, and then here we go. We're going to exhale to open and inhale to lower down. We're going to exhale to open and inhale lower. So keep lifting up under here. Open and lower down. Open and lower down. Open and lower. And last one. Open and lower. Good. We're going to reach the leg out and take the arm over. And then from there we're going to lift and exhale, reach away. We're going to lift and exhale, reach away. Lift and exhale, reach. So really lifting up, not letting yourself collapse into that shoulder. Okay, this is where all the core work comes in. If you really lift out of that side and away. Lift and away. I think we have one more. And lift. 
and away. Well done. And then from there, we're going to go into our nice side lift. So we're going to inhale up, exhale over, inhale back, and lower down. Inhale up, exhale over, inhale back, and lower down. Inhale up, exhale over, inhale back, and lower down. We'll make this the last one up and over and back and lower down. Well done. You're going to roll onto your front, okay? And then from here, we're going to do a little exercise for the back. So we're going to have the feet slightly apart hip widths apart and we're going to bring our hands in front of us and have one hand on top of the other and we're going to bring our forehead onto our hands here. Okay, so from here we're going to take a breath in and as you breathe out, keeping the forehead and the hands together, you're going to try and lift into a little back extension and then inhale to lower down. So you're going to exhale a lift and inhale to lower down. Exhale to lift. So this is when the shoulders generally start to rise. So really draw your shoulders down, pull your tummy in and lower down and lift. And lower down. Now I want you to lift up and extend your arms out on a V position. Bring them around to the back. And as you do, try and lift up a little bit more. So palms are facing up to the ceiling. Okay? And you're going to come all the way down. And as you come down, your arms are coming all the way around. So they're above your head. So you're going to breathe in. Circle the arms and extend the spine. And then you're going to breathe out as you come back down. The idea of the in-breath is to help you lift. So inhale, lift, circle the arms back. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift, circle the arms back. Exhale, come back down. And inhale, lift, circle the arms back, exhale, come back down, well done. Let's have the hands underneath the shoulders, let's push on up into our kneeling position. Okay, so a nice kneeling position, making sure the hands are underneath the shoulders, let's really lengthen out through the spine, okay, and we're going to do Nice little exercise to finish, so you're going to draw the right leg back, you're going to lift it up, make sure your tummy muscles are in, and you can extend the left arm out. Okay, and then from there you're going to lower the leg and lift it back up. You're going to lower the leg and lift it back up. You're going to lower the leg and up. One more, lower and up. Now hold it there, bend at the knee and bend at the elbow and draw the elbow and the knee towards each other and try and really round your spine. So you want to get to the point where almost you could touch the knee to your forehead. And then you're going to reach back out. And one more time, draw everything in. So tongue is in, tailbone is tucking under, everything's drawing back. You might be a little wobbly. I am, you know. And then you're going to reach back out. Bring the arm down, bring the leg in, and let's go do that on the other side. So slide that leg back, lift it up, slide the arm out. And here you go, you're going to lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower 
and lift, and one more, lower, and lift. Now bend at the knee, bend at the elbow, draw the tummy in, tuck the tailbone under, into your cat stretch. Try not to touch the leg on the floor, so it is a challenge, you will wobble. And then you're going to reach everything back out, like so. And again, drawing in, tucking under. That's it. Hold it for a moment. Good. And reaching back out. Bring the hands down, bring the knees down. And now I want you to just widen the knees, feel it together. Take a deep breath in, and you're just going to sit back. And this is where we're going to end the class today. So you're just going to reach those hands out. As long as this feels okay on the knees and the hips, try and get your chest all the way down. And the idea is it's your chest you're trying to get down, so you can really feel that stretch in the hips, but also in the upper part of your back. And if you want, you can just turn your head to one side. All right, on well, the other side. And let's just take a couple of deep breaths here. Well done, and you're all finished for today. Good, so come on up in your own time. And I'll come have a chat to you now. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. I hope you could all see me and hear me okay. Do let me know, because as I said, we've got to the beginning of class, I'm working with some new technology. So I've got a camera that's just above me now. Um, it used to be kind of right in front of the laptop. So I'm just getting everything kind of to work. But obviously, you're the people that matter. So you must let me know if something's not working for you and I'll jig it around a little bit so it's better for next time. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that class. What we did today was, I would say that was a beginners to intermediate level, and it was more focused, more intense. I run a class on Zoom called Pilates Technique, which I do on a Tuesday morning at uh, 11 o'clock British time, and that's a similar sort of class. So it's not all the wild, crazy Pilates moves, it's much more intense and focused. I don't know about you, but I really enjoy working that way. So let me know what you think anyway, and uh, have a look. And if you've got any questions, of course, do let me know. Oh, and before I forget, do press the thumbs up button if you like the session today, because that always helps. And don't forget to subscribe. Wonderful. So it doesn't look like we have any questions today, which is unusual, which is really good. So I'm going to go down and say uh, my hellos to everybody. Um, so a few thank yous, first of all. Good morning to Ruth Enright. And thank you very much for your donation, Ruth, of two pounds. I hope you enjoyed the class this morning. Uh, good morning to Emir. Hello, Emir. Lovely to see you there. Um, and Emir saying it's a lovely sunny morning in Dublin to enjoy a Pilates workout. Well, that's wonderful. It's very sunny here as well, Emir. So let's hope we're all going to have a nice sunny weekend. Thank you very much, Emir, for your donation of 10 euros as well. That's much appreciated. Good morning to Alison Ellis. Hi, Alison. Lovely. I love your little emoji doing this. That's very sweet. Alison, thank you very much for your donation. And Alison, everyone, is off on a week's holiday on a narrow boat, which sounds amazing. What a way to get out during the lockdown. That's Fantastic. I hope you have a lovely weather, Alice, somewhere wherever you're going to be. Um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful time. Good morning to Margaret Quinlan. Hello, Margaret. Thank you very much for your donation this morning and your fist bump emoji, which I absolutely love. That's super duper. Really nice to see you there. Good morning, Margaret Quinlan. Lovely to see you as well. Uh, thank you very much for your donation to 99. Much appreciated for class this morning. Uh, and Margaret says, great to be back after a busy few Fridays. Yeah, it's been a really busy time lately. I don't know about you guys, but with sort of things changing, it's like I'm constantly trying to 
work out how things are going to be when we kind of move slightly out of lockdown. But I know that we're still over 200 people here every Friday morning. So I've got no intention of changing that. We'll just keep going. And as long as you keep coming every Friday, I'll keep teaching every Friday. Okay. So I think it's a really nice way to end the week. I feel I enjoy ending the week with you guys, so it's it's really good. Okay, good morning to Tony Bryans. Hello, Tony, in glorious Yorkshire. Tony, I hope you've got some sun up there as well. Um, Tony was saying, I saw somewhere on the chat that you really enjoyed my latest upload, which I did last Monday, which was Pilates for happy hips. So if anyone gets really stiff in their hips, um, then do go look at that video because it's a really good video for kind of um, uh, doing exercises which will loosen tension in the hips, stretch out the muscles around the hips and the legs and the glutes. Uh, and that also helps a lot if you're someone that has lower back pain. Um, I often find people who've got lower back pain when they start to do work to improve the mobility in the hips, that tends to relieve the back pain because a lot of the pain can be referral pain from other things so maybe try it out see what you think uh, it's only a short video it's just uh, I think about 19 minutes or something so that's called Pilates for happy hips and I hopefully uh, if my, my technology works I will be filming something for you to release on Monday as well and my Monday workouts tend to be shorter and the sort of thing that you can do in the middle of the day or in your lunch break or first thing in the morning if you just want a little top up in between your regular sessions okay um so going down the chat I uh, want to say good morning to Carlin Holtgren. Good morning, Carlin. Lovely to see you there. Uh, saying a lovely hello to her Pilates buddies. Really good to see you. Tony Bryans, thank you very much for your donation this morning. Much appreciated. Oh, you did the happy hips this week. And thanks. That was a great one. Good. Really glad you liked it. Good morning to Yvonne Thorpe. Hello, Yvonne. Lovely to see you're here today. Thank you very much for your donation and thank you for that lovely emoji. Keep it up. It's really nice getting the emojis, you know, because it kind of spurs me on to keep going because it has been a long year. I actually realized the other day that we've passed our one year anniversary and I was going to do something special. So I'll have to work on that. But I think I've now done a year and two weeks of these live Friday sessions now. So which is amazing, really, isn't it? Think about it. If you get time, go back into the YouTube, my channel, and look at my live streams playlist. And that shows you every workout we've done over the last year and how things have changed. Because I look at it, I think, well, the first one I did, I was a blonde. Now I'm a brunette. The technology has changed. Hopefully everything has got steadily better for us. So, uh, but anyway, all good fun. Good morning to Alaya. Oh, Elia, it's lovely to see you. I haven't seen you for a little while. Good morning from Great Moor Women's Institute. Well, good morning to you. It's really fantastic to see you there. Thank you, Elia. Nice and sunny here in the Northwest. There are 26 in our Pilates group now, but just 10 of us here today. Well, that is wonderful. Uh, you guys have been such a great support and I do really appreciate it. So it's lovely to, to see you there and to know there's 26 of you doing Pilates with me now. Wonderful, Elia. Really, really good. Um, thank you for joining me. And yes, let's try and get some more along next week, shall we? Because we're going to keep going with this. Uh, Sylvia Mears, good morning to you, Sylvia. Thank you very much for your donation. And you're hoping for warmer weather today. Yes, it is cold, isn't it? I'm not sure where you are, Sylvia. I'm down on the south coast and it was three degrees this morning. I'm hoping it's a little bit warmer now because the sun is out but we shall see. Uh, Judy Buxton. Oh, Judy Buxton. Hello, lovely Judy in West London. Uh, morning all. What a lovely day. Second jab done and dusted. Slightly sore arm. Lovely class with you and a hair appointment this afternoon. Things are looking up. Wow. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah. I've got my... Um, hair appointment next week. I can't wait um, to do that. But I did. I did go to the beauty salon this week and I had a facial for the first time in, I think, a year and a half. 
And it was absolute bliss just to lie down and just be treated and to be able to talk to somebody. It was amazing. So there we go. But yes, Judy, really glad to hear you've had your second jab. That's wonderful news. Kathy Freeman, lovely Kathy in Berlin. Good morning, Kathy. Lovely to see you there today. Great to have you join us again. And good morning to Anne from London. Hello, Anne. How are you? Lovely to see your name come up. Uh, Ranjit, good morning, Ranjit. Lovely to see you. Uh, Rach Vamp, good morning, Rach. I think that's a new name. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much for coming this morning. Um, and then how, let's see, I'm just going to scroll through all my technology chats. Diane McFadden. Hello, Diane. Good morning from sunny Northumberland. And you sent me good luck for the technology. Thank you. Well, we'll, we'll get it right. It does certainly look a lot better now on the screen. So I'm hoping what you're seeing is what I'm seeing. Uh, lovely. Good morning to Birgit's. Uh, in West London. Hello, Birgit. Lovely to see you come up. Uh, Ruth N. Wright, Sue Sambles, Mary O'Mahony. Hello, over in Ireland. Lovely to have you here. Lynn Davis, good morning to you. Sue Townley, Caroline Ford, lovely Caroline in London. Yvonne Woodhouse in Bridlington. Oh, it's so kind of you to give me all that feedback. Um, and Ranjit, you like Kerwin's beard. <laughs> that beard that he had, um, he's had that all the way through lockdown, and I think he's decided to keep it now. Um, but yes, Olga Slay. Olga is in Corfu. Hello, Olga. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much for joining me today from Corfu. I hope it's warmer where you are than where it is here. Uh, Kieran Gohill, good morning, happy to join. Thank you for coming, Kieran. Really nice to see your name there. Um, Jenny Hudless, hello to you. Um, it says it's a bit blurred. Okay, well, I'll check that when I when I look back at the um, video, because what I tend to do is once I finish the stream, YouTube will upload it, but I can go in and I can. I can't change the colors or anything, but I can edit it down and I can also see what you all saw. So that will help me get it really spot on right for next week. Uh, okay, so just whisking down the chat. Oops, I missed a couple of people. There we go. Josie Briggs uh, donated today. Hello, Josie. Lovely to see you're here today. Thank you for this tense yet fun session. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. So the idea was I didn't want to scare everyone with it being intense. But as you can see, it was more of a focus session because I think sometimes it's good to do all the big exercises, but sometimes just being really focused on yourself and your body, it really does help, doesn't it? Uh, so I'm just whisking down to say hello to some other new names. Berna Scanlon. Hello, Berna. Lovely to have you here today. Thank you for saying hello. Stella Deersley. Stella says, was perfect for an oldie. Thanks and everything looked good. Well, thank you very much, Stella. Really nice to hear. Linda Lawley. Hello, Linda. Your first class live. Lovely to have you here. Uh, so enjoyed it, but probably a good thing you can't see me. Oh, why is that? I'm sure you were wonderful. Loved it. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome, Linda. Uh, Ruth, hello, Ruth Enright says, I enjoyed the pace and level of this session, which suited my flexibility and concentration on doing the moves correctly. Thank you. Well, that's really good to hear. Thank you. Because you know what, guys, when you write to me and give me this feedback, I do read everything. I know there's lots and lots of messages on there, but I read everything that you write. And that helps me formulate the class each week because as you know every week I give you something fresh something new so that each week is slightly different because I feel the variety is good for us all the basics are the same it's the same muscles that we're using we're just mixing it up to keep it nice and interesting for you but I like the fact that you enjoy the pace that really helps me uh, there Ruth so thank you very much good morning to Maria Rona Stevens Yvonne Woodhouse says, great class. Uh, lighting was fine. Thank you very much. District Heights says, hello. Hello to you too. And says, thank you, Rachel. Technology was perfect. Workout was great too. Have a good weekend. 
all. Well, yes, you have a good weekend. And Margaret Scott found some exercises hard, don't seem to have a good core. Any modifications, Rachel, or how to improve my core? So Margaret Scott, great question. And you know what? Probably one of the questions that get asked a lot is how to improve your core. The best way, the only way to improve your core is to keep doing the exercises. Now, the class today was a, what I would call beginner plus class, I would say. So if you found that a little bit too challenging, go and do any of my classes, which are labeled beginners, which are on the mat, because the mat classes are the ones where we really focus on how to engage the core and, and, you, and utilize it when we're doing the exercises. So if you're someone that really wants to get your head around the technique of engaging the core, strengthening the core, then the mat workouts are the best thing for you to do. Okay, so Margaret, modifications. There's not really a lot of modifications on today's other than keeping the feet down. So if we were doing something, for example, where we were doing the leg switches with the rotation, you can do that with the feet on the floor and that way that will concentrate on the movement, okay? So that would be modifications with core stuff is to keep the feet on the floor, but still do the movements. Um, and yeah, just keep going, Margaret. Try and do three times a week if you can, even if it's three short sessions that will really help you gain your strength. Yeah. Uh, Rona Stevens donated 199. Hello, Rona. Lovely to have you here. Thank you very much for your donation. Hello to Hilary Russell. Glad you like the class, Hilary. Thank you. Terry, hello. Hi, Rachel. I'm back after my wrist break. Oh, dear. And operation. Oh, my goodness. Found today's class hard and had to do lots of modifications, but managed reasonably well. Thank you. Well, Terry, I'm so proud that you did class today. And yeah, that's a hard one to do anything where you're kind of putting weight bearing on the arms is going to be uh, difficult but it's a it's a good way to build up the strength in the forearm is to do weight bearing on the elbow obviously avoid anything with the wrist and all the kneeling work that's probably too much for your wrist right now but you modified and you did it and you know what that is brilliant because that's what Pilates is supposed to be able to do and that's why I love it is we've all got different bodies We've all got injuries, including me. We've all got issues in our bodies, things that are not easy to do, things that are too challenging to do. And with Pilates, the joy of it is the more you do it, the more you'll learn about your body and what works for you. But you'll also learn ways to modify certain exercises if they don't work for you. And that is the whole point. It's not that you have to do the exercise exactly the way I might be doing it. It's that you do the exercise with the intention and the knowledge of why you're doing it, and what you're doing it for, but you modify it to suit your body. You know, so for example, if you've had a hip replacement, you're going to modify an exercise. For example, anyone with a hip replacement, you don't cross the leg across the body, for example. So if we were doing our hip circles, if this was my legs and I lift this leg up and I've had a hip replacement, I would go straight down out to the side and up. I wouldn't go across. But as you can see, that exercise, you're still working all the same muscles. You're still challenging your core. You're still working all the muscles of the hip. So that's what it's all about. So Terry, well done for doing your modifications there. Uh, Jenny Hudler, stayed blurred on TV, but okay on iPad. Well, that's so strange, isn't it? That sounds like some kind of technology thing, Jenny, because here it looks really, really clear. And actually the camera what I'm using is like a it's like a full HD 4K camera. So it couldn't be clearer um, in terms of what I can see and what I can see on my monitor over there. So that maybe that's a YouTube glitch. I don't know. But I'm glad you could see it anyway and it worked for you. Tony Bryans, a great class again. Thank you. Re-feedback on tech camera. I can see, however, the image is a tad blurry, not focused on my TV screen. Maybe it's a resolution issue. Thanks again. Have a fab weekend. Thank you, Tony. I'll look at that after today. Um, okay, Lynn Davis. 
Uh, thanks. I've been recuperating after being very ill with COVID. Oh, my goodness. And hospitalized twice. This really has helped me as I love Pilates. You are great. Oh, Lynn, I'm so sorry to hear that you've had COVID. Do take care of yourself. And yes, gentle Pilates when you feel you've got the energy. That's absolutely brilliant. Well, well done. I'm so glad that you're here and you're able to be here with us, Liz, uh, Lynn. So keep on getting better. Yeah, keep on getting better. Uh, and all the best to you, Lynn. OK, Virgo has donated five euros. Thank you very much, Virgo, in sunny Portugal. Olga says, thank you. Great session. Uh, and Virgo says, I love this family. Oh, it is a lovely Pilates family, isn't it? And it was great to see Kerwin and, of course, that gorgeous dog in the corner. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but my dog, <laughs> she's just completely asleep in her happy place. She loves that chair. She likes the furry. It's like a fake fur sheepskin rug I put on there. <laughs> She, she hasn't moved since she for an hour now, so she's happy. That's good. Um, okay, so Hilary Thorne. Hello, Hilary. Lovely to see you. Thank you for an invigorating class. You're very welcome. Hilary Russell, first class for me. Really impressed. Thank you. Well, thank you, Hilary, for trusting me with your first Pilates workout on uh, on this channel. Thank you very much for coming along. And just to remind you all, I do this session every week at 10 o'clock. Every week is slightly different. Um, if you haven't already, please press that subscribe button. Uh, please, yeah, please subscribe and please press the like button. So I'm trying to get my subscriptions up because when I get to 100,000, I get a little bit more help on the technology from YouTube. They kind of do it in... Uh, sort of graduate graduations is that the right word yeah graduation so as you get more viewers you get a little bit more help uh, and as you all know a year ago I was here on my own doing it with a laptop and a webcam and all that kind of stuff so um, yes please subscribe and don't forget share it with all your friends okay so going down the list now Tiona in France hello Tiona lovely to have you here uh smada bar greetings from amsterdam or greetings from brighton in the south coast of england it's lovely to have you thank you very much for joining me susan g great session thank you rachel you're welcome susan uh going down we have zales is that right zales gone greetings from japan hello over in japan i think that's my first Japanese uh, live person on uh, on our Friday. So that is lovely to have you here. Thank you for coming. Do come back. Lynn Davis, fantastic. So pleased to hear you're continuing on Friday. Absolutely. Uh, Sue Sambor says, re-resolution, it tends to default to low. So go to three dots and quality and click on 720. Well done, Sue. That's great. I hope everyone followed your advice because that's really, really good. Thank you. Uh, yes, because 720 is HD, isn't it, Sue? You obviously really know your technology, Sue. So thank you for putting that on the chat for everyone. And we'll try and remember to tell people next week as well. Uh, Sylvia says, good to hear you're carrying on with Fridays. Um, Alaya says, re tech issues. We find the volume great on the live, but much quieter on the pre recorded videos. Oh, that's really helpful, Alaya. Thank you. Because uh, the live videos, well, today it's slightly different. Today I'm wearing a microphone um, to hopefully give you good quality because we know that it can sound like we're inside a cave sometimes with the webcam. But the pre recorded ones, we do the volume slightly different. So that's really helpful. And I'll make a note that we'll increase the volume on those so they work better for you. Um, it's amazing. You know, all these tech things you've got to think about because the live is such a different technical uh, beast, if you like, to doing a pre-recorded. It's a completely different setup. So thank you, Aliyah, for letting me know about that. Diane McFadden, the new camera seems clear. I managed my 
uh, it seems clear to me, and then says, I managed my first swim this week. It was great to be back in the water. Just a pity it wasn't a nice warm sea in the Med. <laughs> Maybe next year. Oh, my goodness, Diane, you've been in the sea here. Well done. That must have been super cold, but so nice to hear that you enjoyed it. That's absolutely brilliant. Fiona Davidson, hello to you and thank you uh, for your message. Fiona says, great class. Julie Hopkinson, hi, Rachel. Great class. Thank you. Picture quality was perfect. Thank you very much. So definitely, everyone, that um, making sure you select 720 will give you the full HD, which is what we're filming. So you'll get exactly what's coming through the camera if you select that. So that's good to know. Caroline Ford, great stretching class, Rachel. Thank you. Have problem with cramping in the feet and hips sometimes. So have to ease off. Picture bright and clear. Okay, so cramping, everybody. Couple of notes to think about with the cramping. Sometimes cramping can be because you're a little bit dehydrated. Not always, just sometimes. So just check in with yourself that you have been drinking water regularly. And sometimes it can be um, a lack of potassium, I think it is. So the other thing you can do is eat a banana and that can help as well. So those are two possible things you can try if you're someone that gets cramps on a regular basis. Okay. Uh, Sandy McClure's donated five pounds for today. Hello, Sandy. I know your name very well. So lovely to see that you were here. Um, Caroline Fawn has donated $4.99. Thank you very much, Caroline. Sarah Ventress. Hello, Sarah. Nice to see you. Lovely relaxing cars, but my abdomen and glutes know I've worked out. By the way, love, love, love the bar sessions you've been doing. Oh, Sarah, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, I am going to do some more of those. So they are in the pipeline. I'm just working on my class content so I can give you lots of variety. But thanks for letting me know and I'll definitely do some more. Okay, where are we here? Da, da, da. Oh, I see Kerwin's been talking to people about tech because he is Mr. Tech. Okay, so uh, <laughs> some people thinking Kerwin was going to do the session. You know what? I do. I am going to tell you something. I don't know if Kerwin's listening, but he does do Pilates. He's got a little session. He does one of my earlier sessions called... I think I'll call it absolute abs. It's like a 10 minute ab session and leg stretch because Kerwin likes to run. He's a bit of a runner. So he does my abs and leg stretches every morning before he starts his work. So there you go. So maybe we'll have to get him to join in one of these days. <laughs> uh, ta -ta -ta, going down. All right. So it's looking like Generally, everyone's okay with how the class looked. A couple more hellos before I sign off. Liesl Panel, Panel, Liesl Panel in South Africa. Hello, lovely to have you here. And you're in Port Elizabeth. And good morning to you because I think we're on a similar time zone, aren't we? So, yes, do come again, Liesl. Lovely to see you there. Mary Smith, your classes are wonderful, Rachel. Thank you so much. You're a great teacher. Well, thank you, Mary, because you know what? I wouldn't be a great teacher if I didn't have you guys out there doing the class with me. So thanks to you as well. All right, so we're going down towards the end. Margaret, you're going to look at the beginner videos. Well done. Um, Sarah Ventress is also saying uh, something, ver backing up Virgo's request, which is you love the band, the ball and the ring sessions for all good. And the bar ones are brilliant, but try all the sessions, so much choice. Well, good. I'm glad you like the choice, everybody. Margaret Scott's donated three pounds for today. Thank you, Margaret, very much indeed. Sheila Coley. Hello, Sheila. Hi, Rachel. Great section. Great session. Picture is perfect on my TV, and I've donated to you on Kofi. Thank you so much. I love these sessions. Well, that's wonderful. And I think, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going to read down because I can just see a message from Sarah. Oh, Sarah Ventress. I'm so sorry. So Sarah says, my dog passed away recently. I love seeing Boo. Give her an extra hug. I will, Sarah. I'll give her a little 
cuddle just for you today. And I'm so sorry to hear about your doggy. Uh, do keep your chin up and you're saying picture perfect up here in the highlands of Scotland. You looking and sounding amazing. Many, many thanks. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. And everyone that joined me this morning, I'm going to sign off now. But don't forget, you can send me messages on the chat. And I will be back the same time next week with another new workout. So you look after yourselves. Stay positive, all of you. Keep your chin up. Don't forget to keep doing your Pilates. And I'll see you in a week. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.